Hey y'all, how you doing? It's Phil Thatch and I'm out here again on the porch doing some bird photography. Uh, you may be aware that two days ago I was doing some landscape photography at a creek and I fell and when I fell I knocked my Canon R7 which is really my favorite bird photography camera into the creek and killed it. But uh, that's okay because I have other cameras that I can use and today I've brought out an oldie but a goodie. It's the Nikon D500 which is a pro level APS-C DSLR and their 200 to 500 continuous f5.6 lens. This is just an absolutely dynamite bird photography combination and while it's not state of the art right now uh, there was a time when it was, at least the camera body was. The, the 200 to 500 is kind of a budget lens. I think it's $1399, which is uh, it's less than half the price of the Canon 100 to 500. And that lens is a, is a 4.5 to 7.1, and this lens is continuous 5.6. Um, gosh, this combination is really great, but if you get used to holding an R7 and the 100 to 500, this thing feels like you're carrying around an anvil. It's so much heavier. And uh, it shoots 10 frames per second. And gosh, the shutter is, is so loud. Listen, um, really loud. You know, and I've always thought that the R7 mechanical shutter was loud, but this thing's even louder. But it does a really great job. And I've, I've been out here um, on the porch. Uh, I'm on vacation and it's a photography vacation. Um, Heather's working, so I'm not going way out of town, but I've been out here on the porch just photographing whatever I can find, and I've, I've seen some chipmunks and, and uh, a few birds. And the reason I haven't left the house, yesterday I, I left the house and I went out with my Nikon Z50 and did some waterfall photography, but I don't want to leave the house today because my new R7 is being delivered today. So, um, so I'm just gonna stay home because that's a signature package and sign for it. But I'm still going to do some photography. Wow, there's a crow making a ton of racket in that tree. So let's look at the photographs that I've gotten so far with an oldie but a goodie, the Nikon D500. Look how cute this chipmunk is. We have lots of chipmunks that hang around our backyard and our front yard and our side yard and the entire neighborhood. And they're probably all over the whole southeastern United States and beyond, but they sure are cute and have a lot of personality. Here's a photograph of a Carolina wren in one of the trees in our backyard. And I probably have 50% uh, I believe of the photographs in this video are Carolina wren. I just love these little birds and I'm so happy that they hang around in our backyard and I really enjoy watching them and photographing them and listening to all the noises they make. Here's a couple more chipmunk photographs and you know these chipmunks have a network of tunnels underground in our backyard that probably rivals the New York City subway system. There are tunnels all over the place and I guess it kind of gets on my nerves a little bit but I get to photograph them so we'll call it even. Here is a tufted titmouse in that same tree in the backyard. One of my favorite birds to photograph. I wasn't really happy with uh, this photograph all that much and maybe even a little bit less happy with this one but I haven't photographed a tufted titmouse so much this year so I was happy to see them and make some photos. Well Phil if you're so crazy about this Nikon gear why in the world did you buy a Canon camera and now two Canon cameras? What were you thinking? Well the answer is I bought Canon cameras because they had nice functional animal and not just animal because by that time Nikon had dog and cat eye detect autofocus but they had bird eye detect autofocus and that was it. I mean I knew Nikon would eventually get it I suppose but I also knew if Canon had it first they would probably always be in the lead with that technology so that's why even though I love this Nikon gear that's why I bought into the Canon system. Here's a few more Carolina Wren photographs. This is in the Leland Cypress trees that are growing just beside my back porch, kind of in the side yard 
on the property line between our house and our next door neighbor's house. I just love the beautiful brown eyes on the Carolina Wren. And sometimes you can see the brown eyes in photographs and other times you can't. They have to capture the light just right to be able to see them. But all three of these photos, you can see their eyes pretty good. Here's a blue jay. Uh, I always struggle to photograph blue jays and I really don't like to photograph birds on the ground, but it's a blue jay, so I'll take it. Here is a female red-bellied woodpecker that I photographed a long way away. This is about 40 feet away. All these photographs are heavily cropped. And this is in the peach tree in the backyard. And after I said goodbye, I was making the clip that you'll see in just a moment. And I was saying goodbye and thanks for watching. And this Carolina wren flew up and landed right on the handrail on the back porch. And you can see in the clip that's about to happen, you can see me look over to the right because this bird has landed. So once I finished saying goodbye and thanks, I picked up the D500 again and made these shots that you're seeing right now. And I had already called it done. And then I made probably my three favorite shots of the morning. So you never know when you're gonna get your best shot. Well, I had a nice time out here uh, using an oldie but a goodie, the D500 and the 200 to 500. But it's November the 8th and it's starting to get really hot, <laughs> which is crazy to me. So I think I'm going to call it and go inside and work on these pictures and put a video together for you. So uh, if you enjoyed the content, thumbs up is always appreciated. If you want to see some more like this, subscribe and hit the bell. And as always, I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye-bye from the back porch.